Good morning everybody, you're very welcome to my home in Anglesey in North Wales. I am Veronica Conlon, a member of the Partners and Mission Team of the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. In prayer this morning, I would like to especially remember those families who are finding this current situation difficult. Also our own parish family and parents whose children are far away. I remember as a child in primary school that every morning, before lessons, we stood behind our desks and prayed the morning offering. So let us do that this morning. Let us offer our day to God, who as people of faith we know is with us at this moment. So let's pause for a moment and acknowledge God's presence among us. begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the most pure heart of Mary, I offer you all my thoughts, words, actions, sufferings, and joys of this day. And today, Lord, we place before you those families who are struggling through the present pandemic. Give them the grace to cope with their difficulties. Amen. I will now read a modern version of Psalm 99 by Sidney Condray, which is the psalm at today's Mass. Holy One, may all people reverence you. May they praise and rejoice in you. You are awesome and wonderful. You are tender and compassionate. You are mastery and mystery. We simply cannot fathom you. In times past, many souls looked to you and loved you. They trusted you and followed your ways. They cried out to you when they were in need. You answered their call and rescued them. O oh, great God, you spoke to their hearts. And though you detest wrongdoing, still you were merciful. You forgave their sins and turned their failures somehow to their good. Holy One, you do the same for us. You hear us and save us when we trust in you and follow you. You hear us and save us when we turn to you in need. You hear us and save us when we call to you in faith. We've just heard the psalmist paint a picture of a loving God. He writes of people in the past who experience God's tenderness and compassion, mercy and forgiveness, and how he answered their call when they were in need. He says that God does the same for his people. I'll just repeat the last few lines of the psalm. Holy One, you do the same for us. You hear us and save us when we trust in you and follow you. You hear us and save us when we turn to you in need. You hear us and save us when we call on you in faith. As people of faith, we know that is exactly what God will do for us. During these difficult days, he is with us in our words and actions and our joys and sufferings and will give us the strength to live each day. So now let us finish our time of prayer by entrusting all families to Mary, our mother, 
asking her to intercede for us, as we say, Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To you we cry for banished children of Eve. To you we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed truth of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. So let us draw our time of prayer to a close in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>